Were you looking for a really easy way to make a miniature bookcase using just paper? Well, it's your lucky day, because that's exactly what we're doing in this video. This little bookcase is perfect for Barbie dolls and doll houses in general, and it can be made completely out of cardstock. If you want to make your own tiny bookcase, watch until the end to get the free printable template. And I also have a digital version for cutting with a Cricut or Silhouette cutting machines in my shop. But now, let's get started. To build the structure of this miniature bookcase, I used white cardstock and matte board. If you don't have any matte board, you can also use balsa wood, corrugated cardboard or even cardstock from old packaging as long as your final material is 2mm thick. Cut this part into cardstock and glue it to your base material, in my case, matte board. Cut the base material to size, then flip it over and glue another identical cardstock layer. This is going to be the back of our miniature bookcase. Now cut this part. This is a template to help us place the shelves later on. Lightly trace the lines corresponding to the shelves with a pencil. I decided to paint the top part of my bookcase's back in three different shades of pink just to spiff it up a bit. Now repeat the same process for this part. Cut it into cardstock, glue it to your base material, then glue another cardstock layer over the opposite side. Print and cut the shelf's placement guide and trace it. These pieces are going to be the sides of our miniature bookcase, so you'll need to make two. Make the bottom and top parts of our miniature bookcase in the same way. Next, we're going to make the shelves. You'll need to make two small and four big ones. Two of the bigger shelves should have two little holes on either end. Use this desk to know where to place the holes and drill them with a drill or a piercing tool. This will be the basis of the door's mechanism that we'll see in a moment. And just a reminder, you'll find the download link to the free printable template at the end of this video. And if you want a digital version for cutting with a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, I linked my shop in the description box. Finally, let's build the doors. Assemble the base the same way we prepared all the previous pieces. Then, cut these two parts and glue them to the front of each door, placing the thicker frame first and the slimmer frame on top of it. Cut these long, thin strips of copy paper and glue them along the entire border of each door. Now, take four sewing pins or a piece of thin wire and insert them into the top and bottom of each door, using this template as a placement guide. If you're using wood, you'll have to drill holes into the doors first. Cut the pins so that they stick out just a few millimeters. To make handles for the bookcase doors, I use these small wooden beads and two toothpicks. Slide the bead over the toothpick. Cut off the excess and use a nail file to smooth the surface. Then use this template as a placement guide to know where exactly to put the handles. You can also make handles with two sticks or craft picks, like I did in this video. You can either glue the handles in place or you can drill a small hole into the doors where you'll insert the handles. This will make the handles sturdier and the doors easier to open. Once all the elements are ready, we can begin to assemble our miniature bookcase. The first thing you want to do is to attach one side of the bookcase to the back. Then, glue the shelves up until the last one, which we'll set aside for a moment. The third shelf from the top should be one of the two we drilled holes into. Insert the doors by sliding their top pins into these holes. Glue the last shelf the bottom part of the bookcase. Then glue the other side, making sure that all the shelves are perfectly aligned. Lastly, glue the top part of the bookcase. Now if you want, you can glue these strips of paper to the edges of the bookcase to make them appear smoother and more polished. I've also included this part in case you want to add an arch to the top of the bookcase. I've noticed that they are kind of on trend lately, so there you go. 
and our miniature bookcase is ready. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template, and if you're interested in the SVG and Silhouette Studio files, there's a link to my shop in the description box. And this is all for today's video. If you want to see more office-themed miniatures, check out my dollhouse office playlist. And until next time, bye!